All right, so we're gonna take a look at this docking station. Right now I have it, I have it set up on my monitor. I have two, this is two, and this is three, which is three, and then I identify it. So it's three, two, one. And then we got a mouse, we got keyboard connected, and we got ethernet. So we got plenty of spaces here in the back. We got one more display port, two HDMIs, three HDMIs, one, um, to 3.2 if you guys can see 3.2 usb power connection ethernet connection and then the host the host is the system that's going to be hosting the actual uh, monitors and pretty much the software too power button on you got type c in the front 3.0 3.0 sd drive sd micro sd and then we have two more on uh, 3.2 and in the front of it actually three so there's three of them, and then the audio 3.5 jack we have in here. And then this is solid aluminum. So it works great with the systems. I got my system here, I got this system, and the great thing about it is to look at this. Palm my hand, pretty much it fits. So very solid. And then, you know the great part about, this is either compatible with Mac or PC. Internet here, we got power, internet came up, power and everything's in, included in here so pretty much in a box we have the power right in front of it that we could turn off the monitors even turn off the power if, let me just shut it off so you guys can see that so right now they're in aisle and the system's gonna regenerate itself we're thinking that it's only one, one monitor it's not charging if you guys can see power back on all monitors are gonna pick up again including the keyboard and the mouse so you could turn this off and on as simple as one click, all right? That's pretty much it. Now, I am gonna have to regenerate the monitors, but look, memorize them already. Sure. So I'm gonna show you another trick that I found on this one, not just for computers, not for Mac and PC, but also for another unit. So let's go ahead and bring it in. All right, check it out. This is my Steam Deck, all right? We're gonna unplug this in, all right? So it hits a little stuff, it's a little stuck in there. So plug it in, remove this. We'll put this in idle here. And look at this beautiful thing. You just grab your connection. One connection. All right, so we're going to plug in our Steam Deck here. We're plugged it in, all right? We're going to go ahead and crank it up. And I have Windows 11 on here. Just to let you guys know, I installed Windows 11 on my Steam Deck. So with this, look at what we can do. We're getting our display. It's coming up on one monitor right now so far. All right? You guys can see that. It's asking us if we want to make some changes right now. So gonna leave it as it is but of course the resolution is gonna be a little lighter because um, we are running a uh, generating off one system here and see it identify everything so we're gonna extend our connections and our monitors keep as it is right now it's splitting the monitors so the limitation on the on the displays we can only run two monitors but the system we can just see is everything is running out of here so I can even hit windows Windows, key, mouse and keyboard works great. The internet's working great. If you guys can see the internet, I have it right here in the right hand, cor the right -hand corner. Um, I'm able to do anything I want, surf the internet. Uh, this is with Windows 11, of course. Once you install your own applications, your own system, uh, you gotta know your limitations. So on the other one was a Surface, a Microsoft Surface that I ran. Now I transfer it to the uh, Steam Deck. But unfortunately, I can only do one monitor on the Steam Deck, but I could do two, three, or four monitors on the with the actual Surface. So very simple. I like this whole unit. Very light, easy to travel with, take it with you. The power bank is a little large, if you guys can see, but this is going to power pretty much anything you, you plug into it. So very simple, easy to use. I hope you guys enjoy the video. 99.6 of you are not subscribers in my channel. I hope that the content helps you out and that you find it very useful. And I hope you hit the like and subscribe.